What's going on everybody and welcome back to another Gundam Evolution video. Today I have another special video for you guys. I was invited by Bandai Namco to test out the new suit coming to Gundam Evolution in Season 4, the Gundam Dynamis from Gundam 00. We also got a chance to check out the new game mode headquarters as well as the new map Buried City so we have even more stuff to cover than last time. If you like the video be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Gundam content and join my discord using the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I bet you thought the Dynamis was a long range unit, didn't you? Wrong, it's an all range unit and the reason why is because Dynamis can actually switch its main weapon between its sniper rifle and its beam pistols to suit the situation you find yourself in. It has 800 HP and has either one or two dashes depending on which weapon you have equipped. Its main weapon is the GN sniper rifle which is obviously great for long range engagements and if you hold it sub action you aim down sights. While ADS, your long range accuracy improves and Dynamis deploys its shield binders to block incoming damage and this shield has 300 HP. Its first skill is weapon change which swaps from your GN sniper rifle to your GN pistols or vice versa. When swapping from the sniper rifle to the pistols you gain a second boost and your boost gauge recovers a little bit. Its second skill is the GN missiles that don't do much damage but once they land they draw in nearby enemies after a short delay. And its third skill is a revive gun similar to gym snipers. Finally, its alt is, you guessed it, Trans Am. While in Trans Am, you can charge up your sniper rifle by aiming down sights and waiting until the number in your reticle hits 100, and this increases the damage per shot to 900. As a reference, a crit when not in Trans Am hits for 680, and while in Trans Am, it's actually not possible to crit, so you can get that 900 damage from shooting the body. Just like with Heavy Arms, I only got to try out Dynamis for a couple rounds, but as a sniper unit, I already like it a lot more than Gym Sniper. When you're playing Gym Sniper, it kind of feels like if someone gets the drop on you and gets in close, you're out of luck. That dinky little Vulcan pod isn't going to save you. But with Dynamis, because you can switch your main, you have more options for engagements, and sometimes that can be the difference between life or death. I'm going to preface this by saying that I am not good at sniping, so my gameplay is not going to be the best, but overall I had a lot of fun with the suit. Having that extra bit of protection from the shield while you're sniping is always nice, and being able to swap to the pistols if you need to jump on a point is huge because it feels like you can actually contribute. Plus, that extra boost helps a lot for extra mobility during those close range engagements. The missiles are a neat little tool because if you practice your placement, you can use them to pull people out from around corners if the missiles land close enough. And its G maneuver feels awesome, it doesn't feel like it's too short and you have that option of either spamming your shots or waiting to line up your one super powerful shot. And no matter which one you choose you don't have to worry about aiming for the head. When I found out Dynamis was getting added to the game I was a little concerned about getting another sniper suit because I wasn't sure how different it would feel, but they've managed to give the suit gimmicks that make it feel unique and fun to play. Still would like to see a new suit from a series that isn't in the game yet but I like Dynamis so far and I can't wait to play more of it. Now I'm going to go over how the new headquarters mode works, so bear with me because the rules and scoring can be slightly confusing. The match starts with both teams fighting over a neutral zone in the center of the map. Whichever team captures that zone gets one point and becomes the attacking team. The defenders must then defend their base core from the attackers for the remainder of the round. If the defenders successfully make it to the end of the round without their base core being destroyed, they get one point. If the attackers deplete the opposing team's base core to 50% health, they gain a point and some extra time is added to the clock. If they completely destroy the base core in the remaining time, they get a third point. The first team to reach 5 points wins the match and there is no possibility for a tiebreaker or a draw. There will always be a clear winner. So you can already see how this game mode can vary from match to match, as each round there is a maximum of 3 possible points for the attackers and 1 for the defenders. If one team is stacked, they may win the opening engagement and get 2 or 3 points for 2 rounds and end the match right there. But, if the teams are fairly even, you may see a situation where you go multiple rounds at 1 point each and the match continues to drag out. And speaking of, if you get to the point where both teams are tied 4-4, the team to capture the neutral zone at the start of the next round will get their 5th point and take the win. We had another situation where we were up 3-2 at the start of a round. We capped the zone for our fourth point and reduced the enemy team's base core to 50% which gave us the win because even though the base core wasn't fully destroyed, we hit 5 points first. This mode can get very intense. I wasn't sure what to expect when they were first explaining the mode to us but I had so much fun, this honestly might become my new favorite mode in the game. It also helped that Buried City felt like a map that was designed for this mode, it played really well and felt balanced for both teams. 
I can't wait to see if this mode is available on other maps and how it plays because I think it has a lot of potential. And that's everything I've got for you guys for this video. Just like last time, I'm going to let the rest of the footage play out so you can watch more of the suit and the new mode. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a positive rating and let me know in the comments if you're excited for Dynamis and what your thoughts are on Headquarters. Thank you once again to Bandai for inviting me to check this out. Be sure to subscribe for more Gundam content. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.
Looks like my suit's warming up. Your allies in rare form. 